Hello. Today's word is signs. When I think of the word signs, I probably first and foremost think of like a stop sign or yield, merge, traffic signs, the signs that direct us when we're driving. We might also think of signs, a uh, recent um, scandal, if you will, with uh, Houston Astros, the signals that maybe baseball players or football players, sports, uh, give some kind of signal, signs for what is coming next, what they want a uh, player to do or not do. Both of these indicate direction, uh, communicate that there's something that uh, we don't need to say out loud, but with a sign we can share meaning. Scripture uses the word signs in a similar way, not as in like a painted sign or, or traffic signals, but, but signs as in signals to what God is doing and what God's trying to communicate. The Gospel of John in particular uses this sign, signs and wonders, to help us understand who God is and what God is doing in the world. The very first miracle that Jesus performs, a wedding at Cana, where he turns water into wine, it's a sign, it's a wonder. Recently, I preached a sermon series talking about signs and wonders. And I made the point then, and I would make it again now, that sometimes we get caught up in, in the sign itself, in the miraculous, and we forget about what it's trying to communicate. I wonder during this time, this pandemic, what are the signs? What are the signals? What are the bits and pieces of information that we're meant to receive? We get maybe caught up in, in the mode of communication, but what's the message we're meant to receive? I wonder if during this time when we're pausing and slowing down and, and finding a different rhythm, maybe the sign for us is that this is how we've been meant to live all along. That the way in which we live our lives, the work and rest, that rhythm of play, productivity, maybe the sign for us in this moment is not so much uh, to focus on, again, the, the specific signal, but what are we meant to take away? Maybe, maybe pausing, Sabbath, resting, coming back to family, finding ways to connect with our neighbors, being creative. All of these uh, seem to me to be signs of the time. I wonder what you might be thinking about. What are the signs, the wonders, if you will even, that this time is pointing you to understand, pointing you to consider or to imagine. Can you read the signs? Take time today and, and think about how you might be receiving a message. What, what might you be learning in this time? God bless.